Cyberpunk lore in 60 seconds or less. Jotaro Shobo is one of the evilest characters in the cyberpunk verse. So much so he got the name the Devil of Kabuki. His Tiger Claw's boss has committed so many atrocities such as human trafficking, snuff BDs, kidnappings, murder. Not only that, in this one conversation Jotaro says this to one of his employees. You have to get them, her and that gonk fuck and do it so everyone sees. So everyone sees what it's like when a bitch like her tries to skip on Jotaro. Based on the wording there is three possible scenarios that happened and all most likely contain extreme violence and possibly SA. In addition to this, the mocks were so disturbed by his actions they set out a contract on him via Regina Jones. Upon reaching Jotaro you see splatters of blood in his room with multiple bondage equipment and surgical tools. He indeed was the one carrying out the snuff BDs first hand and then selling them on the side to maximise his profit margins. If you instead render Jotaro unconscious, you'll have the option to send them to the mocks personally, who offer a bonus, meaning they really wanted to extract justice via their own hands. To conclude, there is one final chilling aspect to this whole story. In an area around Kabuki, you'll find armed guards protecting a container. Upon taking out the guards, you'll hear frantic banging in which trafficked victims are pleading to be let go. Upon releasing the civilians, you'll notice a dead female with a shard that may break your heart upon reading it. Thanks for watching, you're all breathtaking.